What is going on everyone? Nostalgia 9 to 5 coming at you with a magically inspired video dedicated to explore this mysterious Digimon location called Wichelny. I have to say that I am very excited for it, but I also have to say that this place is very much left unexplored even by the Digimon creators. There were many people asking for it, but I actually could only find two names to refer to, the shadow in the mask and pose. A big big thank you for your contribution and support. Now, without further ado, let us get right into it. To tell you the truth, because there is so little written about Wichelny, a lot of its aspects will probably remain shrouded in mysteries unless the Digimon creators will give us a little bit more. That is why I will make sure to tell you when we enter the hypothetical zone. Don't mind too much with my word invention. With hypothetical zone, I only mean that I will make sure to tell you that we are talking hypothetically. I will be covering all the comments written in the Nostalgia 5 community page concerning Wichelny, as many did give us very, very interesting personal theories about what they think the location is all about. Let me first of all start by explaining the base foundation of Wichelny. The inspiration came from the V pets, or better said, virtual pet called Magical Witches. It is a series of magic book shaped virtual pets released by Bandai in 1998. Mr. Watanabe Kenji was involved in the character design. He also served as a bridge that connected the V pet Magical Witches and Digimon, as he was also responsible for designing a variety of Digimon. Obviously his work and experience led to the incorporation of certain aspects of the VPET slash Tamaguchi entertainment tool to the Digimon franchise, in particular Wichelny. Now the VPET toy was shaped like a tiny book and similar to other Tamaguchi games, the goal was to raise and train a tiny witch that lived in the particular magical world. The book was used as a way to communicate with your witch may be important for your knowledge. In the Witcherly of Magical Witches, there are four clans of witches that each represent one of the four elements used in alchemy. You are the family of Earthling, meaning Earth, Baluluna, meaning Wind, Enerouge, meaning Fire, and Aquari, meaning Water. Witchmon, a Digimon we discussed in explaining Palamon Digivolution Line video, has attacks referring back to the Magical Witches. As a master in the sorcery of wind and water, it has an attack called Baloluna Gale. It is a sharp wind carrying magical power with a name referring back to the magical witch's magical clan of wind. Wishmon also has another attack called Aquary Pressure, an attack with water of such extremely high pressure that it is enough to penetrate steel. And the attack is once more a reference to the magical witches but in particular to the magical family of water. In this video we are certainly going to get back to Wichmon. Before really talking about the inhabitants, I wanted to stop by the society in Digimon's Wichelny to know how it would function. It is a very important aspect because on the contrary to the digital world's rule of survival of the fittest, Wichelny does not seem to abide by that rule. Wichelny seems more like a very organized structured society and let me explain why. But first, let me read the following comments. To me, Wichelny is just another place, like how the digital world is a place but never really a world. It was probably formed from data from the real world, surrounding fairy tales, wizards, witches, the beliefs in magic and the supernatural, mostly European in origin it seems. The fairy realm, the other world in Celtic mythology and so forth. It is a quote written by Andres Marrero, a very interesting someone who wrote extremely intelligent comments in other Digimon videos, a big thank you for your contribution. The comment certainly makes a lot of sense because all it would ask is to take a look at medieval Dukeman's biography to understand more or less what inspired the creation of Wichelny. About medieval Dukeman, it is said that although there are almost none who have seen its form in the digital world, it is called the warrior of fantasy there as gaudy ornamentation is applied to the armor over its whole body and the coat of arms is affixed to its solemn form. This description implies that medieval Dukemon, a being that was seen by only a select few Digimon in the digital world, the description means that medieval Dukemon has an appearance that doesn't quite resemble the appearance of those living in dimensions outside the one of Wichelny. The description implies that medieval Dukemon earned itself the nickname of the warrior of fantasy, which only confirms the comment of Andres Marrero, claiming that Wichelny, which is presumably the natural habitat of medieval Dukemon, that it is a world or at least a location based on a fairy tale, based on magic and wizards, based on fantasy. 
while we talk about medieval Jogman in this video, I already formed one important question, which is the following. How come that medieval Jogman was spotted outside Wichelny? I have my own theory about it, but we'll get there. Let us first discuss the societal differences of Wichelny in comparison to the digital world. Based on what little info coming from novels, it is suggested that Wichelny is clearly a structured society, as there are little hints or even suggestions that laws exists in Wichelny. Breaking the law might lead to one being punished or even exiled, and to prove that there is indeed a law, you have to remember that Wichelny is a home to practitioners of sorcery. This means that, for starters, we can assume that only or mostly Wizard Digimon are allowed in this magical alternate universe, and that alone already sounds like a binding law. I guess this place is like Harry Potter, said Skycrush8, and indeed there are big similarities. In Wichelny there is a mountain named Broken Mountain. At its summit, there is a witchcraft school for those young Digimon that aim at becoming magicians. I believe that it is extremely important to speculate about the school because I am sure it will explain more about the historical background of Wichelny. The sources tell us that those Digimon that have the ambition to learn more about magic, that they would go to the school at the summit of Broken Mountain. This shows that some Digimon have the ambition to learn and some do not. It will all make sense, trust me, but I will add to the list of questions the following. So the first time I asked why medieval Dukemon was spotted outside Wichelny. Now we have the following. Why did the inhabitants of Wichelny build a school of magic? And third question. What do those less ambitious Digimon tell about Wichelny? With the help of sources and the help of those who commented in the Nostalgianat 5 community page, I might have an answer which will hopefully make sense and actually might shock you as it might hint to something terrible. I'd like to get back to the comment of Skycrush8, claiming that Wichelny might look like the world of Harry Potter with Hogwarts and the school of witchcraft and wizardry. We already know that Digimon's Wichelny drew the inspiration from the Wichelny of the V-Pet game Magical Witches. In that game, there are four families with their own specialty. They are either trained to command fire, water, wind or earth. Considering that we are talking about school education, I have reason to believe that the school in Wichelny is organized in such a way that there are different groups where Digimon students can belong to, sort of like Harry Potter's Gryffindor, Ravenclaw, Slytherin and Hufflepuff. And Digimon can probably learn from one or more classes to master a certain element, however, to master all four elements is probably going to be extremely difficult, which is why it is probably not advised to take too many lessons. I believe that among the known Wichelny residents, you have Wizardmon as a student, one who studied to command the sorcery of fire and earth. And for Wizardmon, I have another question to add to the list of unanswered questions. Why was Wizardmon in the Digimon digital world? What was its true purpose? And the answer has been stated in its biography, however, I have reason to believe that there is more to it. Sorcermon, a comrade of Wizardmon, is another student, however a rather promising one. Through offering prayer, it is able to harbor holy power to heal its body and heal wounds, and controls light and ice magic, which shows that the school in Wichelny does not limit itself to the elements of fire, water, earth, and wind. Flame Wizardmon is probably also another student. On the contrary to Wizardmon, who is rather shy, Flame Wizardmon is the opposite. It only mastered one element, which is the one of fire. By using two matchsticks that looks like canes, it can further enhance the effectiveness of its fire magic. There is however something about Flame Wizardmon that is a little bit odd. In explaining Warmon Armor Digivolution Line video, I told you that Warmon can use the Digi Egg of Courage and either Armor Digivolve into Shadramon, an insectoid Digimon that manipulates flame and is rather good in hand-to-hand -hand combat, or Warmon could Armor Digivolve into Flame Wizardmon. So here we have yet another question. How come that Warmon armor digivolved into Flame Wizardmon instead of Shadramon? To keep you in some suspense, let me tell you that I have an answer that might maybe make sense, but we will get there. The last known student is Witchmon, Wizardmon's rival. It mastered the sorcery of wind and water, and in order to gain an advantage on Wizardmon, who aims to become a great wizard, it followed and diligently trains in the digital world. There are very interesting theories concerning the inhabitants of Wichelny. Unfortunately, not much was written about that place, so obviously those mysteries will become subject to certain theories, and I took a few of them. 
Lightstorm723 wrote in the Nostalgia Now 5 community page the following. I believe that Piximon might be from Wichelny and I believe Piximon from that universe got transported to the digital world and that they left behind a sacred treasure with a certain digital code or something and that explains why Piximon has certain magical abilities. Now I like this theory for numerous reasons. You will come to understand that Wichelny has a huge timeline. We even talk about ancient Wichelny just to tell you how far we go back in time. Your theory proves that the wizards in Wichelny only got better at using witchcraft because that was not the strongest assets of the inhabitants. You will understand what I'm talking about once we progress through the video. So it might be that Piximon got transported even if it hasn't been hinted in its biography. I talked about the origins of Piximon in the Explaining Gomamon Digivolution Line video. I actually recommend to consult the video because you will come to understand that there are many question marks when it comes to the origins of Piximon. But as far as I know, there might be a certain possibility that the Digimon is indeed linked to Wichelny. This would of course require further research, and which is why I am counting on all of you. Anthony Elmon said the following, also in the Nostalgia Nat 5 community page. As Wichelny is about magic, I think Dramon species Digimon can live here, and maybe even come from here, as they are based of dragons, and dragons use magic. Also, as a separate note, it is interesting to see most of the wizards and witches here using like 4 elements when it is confirmed that there is 10 because of the 10 legendary warriors. Side note, could these guys have taught these wizards and witches about the elements and the magic to utilize them? I read 2 questions, I will give you 2 answers, and the last one will be very interesting. So about the dragons, I would say that there is a reduced probability that dragons live in Wichelny as the society really puts the emphasis on wizards and witches. So I doubt that members of the dragon species will be found there, even if what I am saying might be extremely wrong. In the end, there are only a select few confirmed members and we are talking about an entire structured society after all, which is kind of unheard of in the Digimon world. So I would say because of the benefit of the doubt, I think that there might be a possibility that dragons exist there. And to reply to your other question, I don't think a member of the 10 legendary warriors taught the inhabitants of Wichelny the skill to use magic, because those 10 saviors individually used either fire, light, thunder, wind, ice, water, darkness, wood, steel and earth, but there is no mention of them using magic. It is high probably the inhabitants of Wichelny that taught themselves how to use those powers and even built a school for future generations or those that wish to learn how to use magic. There is however one legendary warrior that has a connection with Wichelny and I'm talking about Ancient Wisemon. So now that you have an idea on what Wichelny is all about and even how it may look like, I am sure that you all can imagine that it is this marvelous peaceful place with harmony and a great social cohesion. But because I tried to answer those unanswered questions that I gave you, I came to a conclusion that Wichelny is hiding a lot of darkness and that the place is not as peaceful as it may sound. That's why I am telling you now that this is actually when the fun ends. Let me quickly repeat all the questions I had while working on this video. How come that medieval Dukemon was spotted outside Wichelny? Why did the inhabitants of Wichelny build a school of magic? What do those less ambitious Digimon tell about Wichelny? Why was Wizardmon in the Digimon digital world and what was its true purpose? And some extra, how many Digimon from Wichelny traveled to the Digimon world? How come that Warmon armor digivolved into Flame Wizardmon instead of Shadramon? And to give you an answer, I would say that in one word all of these explain a certain crisis. I already told you, Digimon is not really for kids, especially when you really think of it. But let me first give you another interesting quote written in the Nostalgia Nat 5 community page. My theory is that during the human vs beast war there had to be Digimon that didn't want to fight and just wanted to live in peace. So some Digimon left the digital world in search of somewhere to stay till the fighting died down and the war was over. So they found Wishonly and found out how its magic worked. It is a comment written by Colticop. A very very interesting comment which I can relate to. I also believe that something pushed a group of Digimon to migrate to some place safe. And in many videos I did mention that the digital world knows and knew a lot of problems. First you have the rule of survival of the fittest. You know it is never safe in that world. It is very uncivilized and very dangerous. And on top of that 
There are many different wars that were fought and there are clear indications of a potential future war. So you have a lot of problems in that area. And those problems, which might have taken a shape like a ground scale war or a crisis, probably led those Digimon that were A. tired of fighting, B. incapable of fighting and C. those that simply wanted to live a peaceful life. I believe that those challenges led certain Digimon to migrate to a safer spot. And I think that Wichelny was probably found by accident. And considering the benefits of that place, it became sort of like a law to keep its location a secret. And this new habitat did affect some Digimon, like for example the manifestation of magic. And there is a difference between, for example, a Greymon that spits fire and a wizard Digimon that learned how to use fire. In the end, witchcraft is a skill that can be taught, unlike dinosaur Digimon that are naturally gifted with the ability of spitting fire. I believe that some Digimon were able to use some limited form of witchcraft and sorcery, but not in a very developed way. Why do I think like that? Here is an interesting quote written in the Nostalgia Nat 5 community page. There is a story involving medieval Galantmon where it supposedly defended the world before it had the proper defenses. It is a comment written by TBC1, it was normally much bigger but I had to take parts out of it. You can always see the rest of the comment in the Nostalgia Nat 5 community page. You see, to understand the story of medieval Galantmon, you need to know the challenges in Wichelny. There are clear indications that Digimon migrated to Wichelny, and despite the knowledge that that specific location could enable the Digimon to unlock magical powers, those who fled there were high probably not fighters, were high probably Digimon that did not have the ambition to get stronger. And I can't really blame them, as most humans on Earth simply want to live a peaceful life. But the problem is that the location of Wichelny was spotted by unidentified foreign forces and those that believed that they could live in peace in that place were sadly mistaken. They were attacked in such a harsh way that the alternate universe was on the brink of collapse. Here is a quote that can confirm what I am claiming. In ancient Wichelny, when sorcery was still immature and had no means for it to defend itself from foreign invasions, it was on the road to ruin. But medieval Dukeman suddenly appeared and completely repelled the invaders. Notice that the quote refers to ancient Wichelny? It might be that we are talking about the same period of the ancient 10 legendary warriors that were in a huge war causing many casualties. In fact, it might have been the exact reason why certain Digimon migrated to Wichelny. Medieval Dukeman suddenly appeared and drove out the foreign invaders in ancient times and probably did that with his team called the Vortex Warriors, a group of Digimon who, among all the magical systems of fire, earth, water and wind, battle using weapons made by wind sorcery. And the group is governed by their War Wind General, Medieval Dukemon. Unfortunately, there is nothing written about the individual members of this group, but I will keep on doing my research. I assume that after the war, due to these foreign invaders, obviously which only had to be rebuilt maybe in terms of law, in terms of security, in terms of defense and societal structures. So the inhabitants probably worked on those matters and decided to use everything to their advantage to assure their security, which includes magic. I assume that the war against the foreign invaders led to the creation of that school at the summit of Bracken Mountain. And I think that only those motivated students that really wanted to contribute to their society and probably for some their birthplace, they went to that school in order to get better in the art of witchcraft and wizardry. Warmon, assuming that it is a Digimon that also migrated to Wichelny, probably also wanted to do something for that location. It had the courage, but not the body, not the skills to really contribute. So it used a Digi Egg. Now, it either was gifted the Digi Egg of Courage or it found one and used it to become Flame Wizardmon and enter the school at the summit of the mountain. The egg probably did not make Warm and Armor Digivolve into Shadowmon because of the magical environment inspiring or at least influencing Digimon to further evolve into wizard kind of Digimon. And the use of the Digi Egg of Courage is probably the reason why this Digimon can only use fire and not another element. The Digi Egg of Courage gives the user special fire abilities and nothing more. So there was no other element that could be learned. The only thing possible was to learn how to enhance the fire abilities it already had. 
And I think that in the meantime, while the school and Richelnie was being rebuilt, the strongest Digimon of Richelnie, meaning medieval Galantmon and its team the Vortex Warriors, scouted some parts of the digital world, maybe to find new partners or to find an area that would be interesting and safe enough for students of the school in Richelnie to go and learn not only in skills but also to report what is happening in the digital world as whatever happens there is eventually going to affect Richelnie. So probably when medieval Dukemo was scouting it was spotted by a few Digimon but almost none which is why it got the name the warrior of fantasy considering its impressive appearance. Once medieval Dukemon got back to Witchelny, either this Digimon or another came with the idea that certain students should travel to the digital world to learn more on how to become a better practitioners of sorcery to better help Witchelny. And thus a certain program was established to let certain Digimon travel to the digital world. It is not clear how many Digimon participated, but there probably were quite a few. I have reason to believe that among those Digimon of Richelny that traveled to the digital world, there were a few Wizardmon that went along. However, not all Wizardmon got there in the same circumstances. I hope most of you remember the Wizardmon of Digimon Season 1, the one that also ended up dying in this very shocking episode. When you focus only on what he said about this Digimon in the first season, you will lack some crucial information and you will certainly not understand how dark Digimon can get sometime. There is a prologue written in the novel of Digimon Adventure, a prologue named In a Remote Cabin, talking about the encounter of Wizardmon and Gadomon. It says the following, It looks like the day when I first came to this world. He, meaning Wizardmon, reminisced as he mended the seams of the worn cloth bag he'd used to carry the book during his long travels. After fleeing from his original world, it was half due to banishment that he arrived into this one. The only thing he had with him at the time were this book and staff. Whoever owned or read from the forbidden book was punished in his world. Although he knew this, he couldn't hold back the urge to learn of its secret knowledge. As a result, he was exiled to this world. The composition of his body was changed so that he now looked like a life-size doll. Wandering this world for what seemed like ages and not consuming much as he didn't know what was edible or not, he managed to finally arrive at the village when he sank to the floor, his energy spent. The villagers seemed afraid to address this unknown wanderer who had collapsed on their street because none of them dared to get close. He should have died then. This paragraph alone says a lot. First of all, it says that Wizardmon was forbidden to read from a certain book there in Wichelny. It could not stop itself and still read from it. Second of all, Wizardmon was punished for reading that book and was changed into that life-sized doll, which means that Wizardmon has another appearance that we have never seen. Third of all, Wizardmon was exiled from Wichelny. It was banished, but before leaving the place, it clearly stole the forbidden book. This might mean several things. It probably means that Wizardmon has Wichelny as an enemy. If it were to get back, it might get a punishment that is even more severe than its altered appearance. As far as I know, it might even get a death penalty or so, because trust me when I say it, the book it stole is really a special one. And it might also mean that because Wizardmon is banished, it didn't get extra information on how to survive in the digital world, which is why in the prologue it is written that Wizardmon did not consume much as he did not know what was edible or not. It is a bit strange because other Wizardmon did not know those problems, because other Wizardmon traveled to the Digimon world and did very impressive stuff, which will be clear. Now, what book did Wizardmon steal from Wichelny that was so forbidden to a point that 1. its appearance was altered and 2. it was banished? This is the moment I will give an answer to Anthony Olmont's second question. You see, among the 10 legendary warriors, you have an ancient mutant Digimon called Ancient Wisemon, a hero possessing the attribute of steel. When it died in that war against Lucimon, which is by the way the war that I think motivated certain Digimon to migrate and accidentally came in Wichelny, but anyway, when Ancient Wisemon died in that battle against Lucimon, it passed its steel abilities on to mutant Digimon, like for example Mamimon or Maimon as I call it, and many other Digimon. Now, in Wichelny, as far as we know, there are almost none or even no mutant Digimon, so obviously they did not inherit those steel abilities given by ancient Wisemon. And still, Wichelny is pretty linked with that particular savior. You see, ancient Wisemon was the most intelligent member of the 10 legendary warriors. It had in his possession a certain documentation known as the Akashic Records. 
In Theosophy and Anthroposophy, the Akashic Records are a compendium of all human events, thoughts, words, emotions and intent ever to have occurred in the past, present or future. They are believed by Theosophists to be encoded in a non-physical plane of existence known as the Etheric Plane. Knowing that, it is said that there is nothing which ancient wise man doesn't know. It is a sage that possesses the knowledge of the distant past but can also forecast the distant future thanks to the Akashic Records. The only problem is that ancient wise man died. It did give the steel abilities to mutant Digimon but what about the records? Here's my theory. In that war between the 10 legendary warriors and Lucimon, certain Digimon were desperately in search of a new place to stay and found Wichomni. And among those migrating, I am sure that someone either received the Akashic Records or stole it and took advantage to travel with that group. I have reason to believe that certain Digimon from the digital world were aware of it and thus attacked Wichelny in search of that book. Many Digimon in Wichelny perished and the location was on the brink of collapse until medieval Dukemon appeared with its Vortex Warriors. After it, at the moment it was understood that the battle was probably because of the Akashic Records, the book was branded the Forbidden Book and placed under surveillance, which is no surprise. After all, it is a book that enables the reader to know more of the past, the present and the future. It enables the reader to know more about the thoughts and intentions of Digimon, which is something certain governments in the world would not want at all. You might think that Wishenly could simply have destroyed it, but first of all, who would want to destroy such an artifact? And second of all, who would even believe that Wishenly really destroyed the book? The likeliness of this magical world being under attack is high, and the leaders knew that, which is why they invested in a better organization of their society, and also by building a school to train the inhabitants that were motivated enough to learn about magic and witchcraft, and thus trained to protect Wichelny. As we are talking about magic, it has come to my notice that there are more than enough known Digimon from Wichelny that traveled to the digital world but not vice versa. We don't know any Digimon from the digital world that traveled to Wichelny, which shows that they perfected the use of magic to either create portals or anything that would make the travel to the digital world more easy and to make the travel from the digital world to Wichelny more harder. According to my theory, Medieval Dukemon was spotted in the digital world as it was probably scouting some parts of the digital world, maybe to find new partners or to find an area that would be interesting enough and safe enough for students of the school to go and train while also bringing back intel. And in the meantime, among the inhabitants there in Wichelny, you have the Digimon Wizardmon, one that knew about the book and wanted to read from it. It was punished physically by permanently altering its appearance and was exiled. Wizardmon did leave but by stealing the Akashic Records. And after it, you had the events going on in Digimon Season 1. And I would say that it might appear that Wizardmon's story ended after it died. But did it really die? Is it by coincidence that Wizardmon has a Digivolution called Wisemon, which is the same name as Ancient Wisemon? And is it a coincidence that Wisemon can appear anywhere in time and space by using a certain unnamed book? Without forgetting that Wizardmon had a similar documentation. Wisemon is a Digimon that is completely shrouded in mystery. It isn't known how it came to be, it doesn't know where its root goes. But what is known is that it treats the book it has as a spiritual vessel and frequently alters its shape to appear anywhere within the spaces and times which the book has connected. Now, according to my theory, that book is none other than the Akashic Record. And the record, as far as we know, is connected to the digital world and not really with Wichelny, which is probably why Wiseman did not return to Wichelny, despite having the knowledge to get there. It is also said that Wiseman's true form remains within a separate dimension, meaning that the punishment of Wizardmon might still be in effect. I also believe that Wiseman has no point in going back to Wichelny, as it still has that book and getting back there will ultimately get it killed probably. So for its own sake, it is better to just remain in the digital world where it is kind of safe. Wiseman holds in its possession the space-time stones that are able to play back a record of a space, preserving every event or object of the digital world within space and time. And it can also use them to defend or attack. You have to know this. Among researchers, it is rumored that Wiseman is in the same family as Pythmon, and Pythmon is its mega form a Digimon based on the mythological King Paimon, a spirit that is quite obedient to Lucifer. 
In case you are new in the Nostalgia Not Fav channel, I made a separate playlist called Mythological Conversation, where I discuss these mythological creatures that inspired the making of certain Digimon. All of these videos are in the Mythological playlist, I invite you to go and check it. To my surprise, even if Piedmon is known as the Clown of Hell, it belongs to the Wizard type, just like Wizardmon, just like most Digimon in Witcherly. It is a strange looking and elusive Digimon that is completely shrouded in mystery. And the thing is that the true identities of the Digimon residing in the dark area are most of the time totally misunderstood. It is unclear why Python suddenly appeared or what its purpose may be. I also want to add that Python was heavily underrated in Digimon Season 1, despite playing a very important role in the group known as the Dark Masters. Now why do I say that Python is underrated, or worse, even wasted? You see, this Digimon is probably the last Digimon to have seen the Akashic Records, which is among the most powerful tools in the Digimon world. After all, it is the documentation that can tell you exactly what happened in the past, what is happening in the present, and what will happen in the future. It is a documentation that even tells you what someone is thinking. After Wisemon, there is no idea what happened to that book, and Piedmon is the one Digimon that no one can describe as we don't know what the Digimon wants. The only aspect of Piedmon that we can really say for sure is that it is a wizard Digimon, and that it mostly uses magical based attacks to my surprise. It can for example teleport its four swords, causing them to skewer the opponent. It has an attack called Clown Trick, an attack with various magical effects including transformations, disguises and reflecting an opponent's attack back to the caster. With the attack called Mask Square, it can create a field in which all communications can be read by it and allows it to teleport itself and its attack anywhere at will. And Piedmon also has magical electric and wind attacks Definitely a Digimon that would do extremely well in Witcherly. But the problem is that we don't know its purpose and we don't know where the records went. This kind of led me to a dead end. I would say that the Book of Ancient Wisemon is either lost or kept hidden either by Wisemon or by Pythmon, which are both Digimon from the same family. Maybe to make you excited for a future video, I have yet to talk about the Digimon Myotismon and this dark Digimon due to some unexplained circumstances it was forced to fuse with Pythmon to form Bold Bartamon, a Digimon that we will certainly study in the video explaining Myotismon. Anyway, I just told you the story of the exiled Wizardmon of Digimon Season 1 and its mysteries. The circumstances led it to wander the Digimon world without any blessings from Richelny. There is however another Wizardmon that appeared in the digital world in order to train. Obviously this Wizardmon was well prepared for its journey. It was not exiled by any means and had good relations with Richelny, at least according to my theory. I believe that this Digimon first evolved into Mistymon, a Digimon that mastered numerous magic and possessed skillful swordmanship, meaning that it is well versed in both knighthood and witchcraft. With the flame on the sword, it already has one important link with Wizardmon that was a known earth and flame user. You can see that Mistymon does look like someone that would come from a world such as Witchelny. It looks like a mixture of a warrior and a witch, especially when you consider its hat. And both the hat and the cape are purple, which are also more or less the same color of Wizardmon's hat and cape. Without forgetting that we only get to see Wizardmon with its punished appearance. We don't know how it might look like without the punishment, so there might maybe be some more similarities between both Mistymon and Wizardmon. But clearly Mistymon is blessed by Wishlny. It evolved probably thanks to the magical influences of Pritchelny despite being in the digital world. On the contrary to the punished Wizardmon of Digimon Season 1 that became Wisemon in very, very mysterious circumstances. Mistymon can further digivolve into Dinasmon, a member of the Royal Knights, a group of 13 mega level Holy Knight Digimon that are the digital world's sacred guardians and are famed among Digimon as guardian deities of the computer network. The group was in fact organized by Imperial Dramon Paladin Mode and serves King Drassil. We will of course explain the story of these 13 Digimon in an exclusive video such as this one. Dinasmon possesses the power of the Wyvern, which is a legendary bipedal dragon with a tail often ending in a diamond or arrow shaped tip. It is a unique being among the Royal Knights in that it serves the Lord who embodied its own sense of justice with deep unquestioning loyalty. And to give an example, for the sake of its own justice, Dinasmon might not hate its lord even if they are called evil, which is why it has a strong spirit of chivalry and honors devotion, fidelity and courtesy. 
considering the purple wings I am still reminded to Wizardmon and Mistymon. Dinosmon has an attack called DNA Disintegration which is an impressive attack where it fires energy shots from the palms of its hands with all the attributes of the 10 legendary warriors which means that Wizardmon that now became a Dinosmon mastered all the elements meaning fire, light, thunder, wind, ice, water, darkness, wood, steel and earth. The thing that bothers me with Dinasmon is that its biography did not specify which lord it is serving. Sure it might keep on serving that same lord that is called evil but who are we talking about? I think that Dinasmon was kind of in a dilemma a little bit like the character Itachi Uchiha from the Naruto franchise. A man that was part of a clan that was hated by the inhabitants of the hidden village in the leaves where the clan resides. Itachi became a spy hired by the village government to give intel of its clan to the village superiors, meaning that he had to deceive those he cared for, all of that to prevent a coup d'etat. Well, Dinasmon has a similar story in that it came in the digital world as a wizardmon in order to train and I assume to also give intel back to its native place, which is certainly possible as a wizard. I think that it could easily teleport itself to Wichelni and back to the digital world without anyone noticing. However, Wizardmon's skills exceeded many to a point that once it became a Dinasmon, it joined the royal knights that work for King Drasil. And King Drasil is this mysterious host computer who rules over all of the digital world on one server of the network, making it as powerful as a god. So Dinasmon got to see the Digimon digital world from the point of view of a god. Sort of like how Itachi Uchiha saw his village from the point of view of the government. King Drasil, despite being a ruler, cannot be seen as a holy one. In fact, there are more than enough reasons to call it evil, as it launched the X program which decimated way too many Digimon, even if the ruler had its own reason. Obviously, Dinasmon was aware of that plan, as it is part of that team that worked for this god. You should ask yourself the following question, what could Dinasmon do in such a situation, when it knows that its superior is going to attack its home country? Should Dinasmon just go back to Wichelni with such a news? And then what, hope that Wichelni might organize themselves to survive? When you know that it is quite impossible? When you know that no matter what you will do or no matter what you will tell, your friends, your native country are doomed to perish? I think that Dinasmon did not have much choice. It knew why the X program was necessary. I don't doubt that he tried to remain faithful to Wichelni, but sometimes you have to accept the fact that there is only so little that you can do about the situation. Once the program was launched, Dinesmon was at the side of King Drasil, watching how 98% of the entire population got destroyed. And I believe that only a select few Digimon of Wichelni survived. Shike GB1 wrote the following in the Nostalgia Nat 5 community page. The Digimon that came from Wichelni is Medieval Dukemon, which is a natural carrier of the X antibody, and it existed in ancient Wichelni, which strengthened my theory over the X antibody existing not just because of the X program, but because it is a natural antibody of some Digimon. Medieval Dukemon had probably survived because 1. Luckily, it is a natural carrier of the X antibody, and 2. Because it is said that, despite the uncertainty, there is a possibility that it transcends time and was still in existence, at least prior to the launch of the X program. Which one had probably also survived because it went to the digital world in pursuit of its rival Wizardmon. That rivalry and that great pride it has and its hatred for customs and rules made it first of all evolve into Beastmon, a Digimon that we discussed in the Explaining Padamon Digivolution Live video. Beastmon is interesting for several reasons. For starters, it is also called Beastmon, which is a reference to the ancient mythological Egyptian goddess Bastet or Beast. We will certainly talk about the goddess in the Explaining Mythological series. I don't think that Witchmon was sent to the digital world. It went there in pursuit of Wizardmon to gain an advantage over it. This means that the place Witchly did not really approve and thus it did not have certain blessings or protection from Witchly. Maybe I'm overthinking stuff, but I believe that the black cat on Witchmon ended up influencing its digivolution into Beastmon, a Digimon that became an expert in manipulation and the bewitching of victims. Beastmon has two possibilities to further digivolve. It might digivolve into Lilithmon, however I doubt that in this particular context it is the case because rumors tell that Lilithmon used to be an Ophanimon, one of the strongest angels. 
The other form, however, which I think is very likely in this case, would be Barbamon, one of the seven great demon lords. One that became even much better at manipulating and became obsessed with treasure, which is why it represents the sin of greed. In one of my previous videos, I gave my personal opinion on the great seven demon lords their new X antibody design. The fact that they have an X antibody only proves that Witchmon also survived the X program if it evolved into Barbamon. All the other inhabitants of Vichelny High probably perished, and according to my theory, there is one Digimon originally from Vichelny that also perished, but was the only one that knew that the X program was going to be launched. I'm talking about the Digimon that was informed years ago about the X program and did nothing to stop it. And to my surprise, my theory pointed towards Piedmon, and suddenly everything makes sense. It all leads us back to Wizardmon of Digimon Season 1. You see, in Wizardmon, Wizardmon stole the Akashic Records, the only documentation in the server governed by Yggdrasil that could have given information about the X program. Wizardmon read from the book not just in Wizardmon but also when it was exiled to the digital world. So it high probably knew the contents of the book. However, you have to know that it is not because a certain truth is written inside a book that you will necessarily believe it. So I believe that Wizardmon had to find ways to really prove that the book is not some random fairy tale. So I think that it took advantage of the Digidestant in Digimon Season 1. It took advantage to fight along and to prove for itself whether the book is real or not. We saw how Wizardmon died, right? And yet there is this mysterious Digimon called Wisemon that is also in the possession of a documentation that looks similar to the Akashic Records. And in this form, if we assume that it is Wizardmon, the Digimon could see for itself all the signs that would eventually lead to the launch of the X program. Wizardmon, or in this case Wisemon, knew that it was inevitable and there is nothing it could do to stop it because for starters, it might have gone back to Wichenly to warn them, but that would probably mean its own death considering that it stole the book from there. Maybe it might have gone to the Royal Knights, but as the information tells, the Royal Knights support the one who launched the X program. So I believe that a combination of such important knowledge with the idea that you cannot spread it out of fear of your own life, I believe that it ultimately led the shy Wizardmon that digivolved into Wisemon to ultimately further digivolve into Pythmon. The knowledge made Wizardmon go as crazy as a clown. Nothing mattered as it knew that there was no way to stop the X program. Wizardmon had no purpose and with the help of the Akashic Records it knew when the world was going to end. And trust me when I say it, not all information is meant for everyone. Some people, some humans, when given certain information, like for example a precise date on which the world will end, some humans might go mad and become unethical, and I believe that this is what happened with the once shy Wizardmon. The reason why it is unclear why Pythmon appeared and what the purpose of its existence is, if you take into account my theory, is rather simple. Pythmon had no purpose. Even feelings of revenge towards Wichelny, the place that exiled it as a Wizardmon, did not matter as Pythmon knew that everyone was going to die. So it went on a rampage, killing or joining killers. You might think that Piedmon died against Magna Angelmon when it used the Gate of Destiny. Well, about that battle, my personal opinion, considering the hierarchy, as Piedmon is a mega level Digimon that is extremely dangerous, I really doubt that Magna Angelmon could really defeat it. Against this Seraphimon it might have been a different story, but not Magna Angelmon. And the Gate of Destiny against Pythmon only served to send it to subspace from which there is no return. But a wizard like Pythmon that can use magic tricks to teleport itself and its attacks anywhere at will could definitely get out. However, I believe that it was not necessary for Pythmon to get out at all. The Gate of Destiny is a place that consigns anyone or anything that goes through it to oblivion. I think that it is the best place to hide something like the Akashic Records. At the moment you are aware of the exact moment that everyone you know is going to die, it doesn't mean that you should tell them, especially when it evolves 98% of an entire population. It is new that you cannot simply spread like that. That might lead to even more chaos, more murder and more madness. Hiding the book is ultimately very wise as no one would be aware of what is to come. Know that it is extremely difficult to face your fears, let alone your death. That is why it is better to just live your life. And Pythmon, as a user of the Akashic Records, certainly knew that it was going to die. So it faced its death 
by letting the others remain ignorant for their goodwill. And once the X program was launched, 98% of the Digimon population, may be from Wichelny or from the Dark Area, or from the Digimon world, it doesn't matter, 98% did die. Some were lucky to have the X antibody and some were unfortunate. Pytemon never had an X-antibody, leading to the conclusion that it eventually died, along with Richelny. 